Not the best. We need to fix that. So, hope that will be enough. Shana Shana, I'm Larvini Hirbash, and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, you should consider subscribing. Most of the stuff I do here is photography based. Uh, you should also go follow me on Instagram. There's where I upload all my photos. It's l.niederbach. Over to the video, I have more and more tried to use RBG lights. I think it's a fun way you need to do stuff to photograph the film and it gives you a, a bunch of creativity uh, in whatever you do. You can make it look like it's a sunny day even though it's very cloudy. You can make something look really futuristic even though it's just in your living room. But yeah, RPG lights. They're awesome and I'm using them more and more. So I've seen people around on Instagram uh, taking street photos with some sort of light, like a neon light. And I was thinking, why not just bring out uh, one of my tubes to see what I can do with it and um, find a cool way to make a subject or someone uh, pop with the help of one of these lights. This little thing, it will definitely help me I can change colors to blue colors, like that, with just a push on a button. Those lights are Godox TL60, uh, I bought two of them to begin with, but obviously there will be more in the future. So the plan with this video is to take one of these lights, go out and see if I can find a cool spot to photograph and do something cool with it, something creative. But to do that, I will be in need of a model, so I'm gonna make a few calls to see if I can find someone that wanna wanna do this with me. Um, hopefully, I can find someone. So I'm gonna make a few phone calls, and I will be heading out to get some cool photos. This will be awesome. Hey, what's up? No, I just gonna. I just wanted to ask if you wanna be in the video. You don't have time. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, I'll call someone else. Hi, it's Ludi. Uh, just calling to ask if you want to be in a photo shoot. Oh, you're, you're babysitting. Oh, it's it's your kids? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, fine. fine. I, understand. I understand, it's, it's fine. Uh, I just call someone else. Hi, what's up? Uh, it's Ludi. I'm just calling to ask. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Oh, hi, it's Ludi. Uh, yeah, Ludi from, from fifth grade. You were my science teacher? I bet. So I put the 200 on to make the picture a little bit more compressed and I tried to center her in the, in the middle of the frame uh, and using, some, uh, using the car as a, a foreground. So, uh, I'm just gonna take some pictures of me now. And you see, it's, it's a railing here, so we're gonna try to use this, those. Use the railing as a leading line of some sort. Now put 
put her I put her in the corner to try to frame her and uh, making the yellow wall like guideline torture her and the railing on the other side is guiding as well. So I think it's the best I think I can do here. So I think I got all the pictures that I wanted. So now I just head back home and see if there actually something to work with. We can't really end the video without showing the result of the pictures. The whole shoot didn't really go as planned or I didn't go to any other locations than the parking garage where we ended up taking all the pictures. When you try to take a photo, you're you're looking for specific things. You kind of like you want some leading lines. You want something in the foreground. You want the subject to be in the middle. It's not very often where I put them on like the rule of third, like on this side. Most of the time, I just put them in the middle. Some pictures actually looks better with them on like the rule of third. But for me, I like just put them in the middle. I'm actually in some of the photos that I was taking, uh, Elena. I give the camera to her and let her play around. We actually never left the parking garage because I think it all matched up with type of pictures that I wanted to take for the night. Uh, with the light and everything, it kind of matched uh, the vibe of the photo. So I think they all look pretty sick with this type of surroundings, like the garage, the empty garage, we went on the top floor. It was all empty, so we snapped all the pictures there. We found this railing that uh, we were leaning on and tried to shoot like down the railing. After that, I wanted to try to get some low angle shots, so I let Evelina like kneel down a little bit and I uh, took the 70 to 200 just everything like compressed everything in the frame and we also went to one of the corners same pose but uh, low angle and all the like the walls were like going towards the subject or us in this case so like the leading lights were going towards us and then i kept going with 7200 uh, i used the car as a foreground object uh, just to get some reflections going, something like blurred out. And that's all you need, like you just put your fingers in front of the lens or put something in front of the lens just to get this blur. You don't need to see what it is. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the shoot and I'm quite, I'm quite happy with the photos as well. As I said in the beginning, I really like using these mm, RGB lights. I like using lights of all sorts and um, trying to get even better and to get better you need to practice and need to redo everything so it was fun we went there with no high expectation we just went there to have fun and learn i don't know any more than anyone else and i'm not telling that what i do is the right thing but keep doing what you like and as long as like you have fun you just keep doing it that's it for this video uh, I hope you like it. You should consider subscribing, uh, like the video, it helps a lot. And um, yeah, go follow me on Instagram, that's where I upload the photos. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hold it.